Well, hi guys. Today, Dora and I are gonna show you how to make your own mask. So what you need is some material. You need a piece of paper, some scissors, needle and thread. If you have an old mask around, great, we can use it as a pattern. If not, I'll show you how to make one. So, Dora decided he was lonely in the other room, so he came and flew into me. He's being silly. So gather up your stuff. I'm gonna show you how to make a cute little mask for yourself. You can also make them for anybody else in your family. Um, it's a way to stay safe. When they do let us get out of quarantine, we're all probably gonna to have to be wearing masks for a while, so why not make it fun, right? So you gather up your stuff, and I got my stuff, and I'll see you back here in a minute. I gotta go put Thor away too. I can't do much holding on to him. All right, we'll see you in a minute. One way to measure, if you don't have a way to measure, is you take a piece of paper, fold it, put it across your nose. I don't have a mirror with me right now, so I'm just going to make a line right here, and a line right here, and a line right here, because we know that's about how big my face is going to be. So see, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So we're going to take and cut out our pattern. So I'm going to cut it out there and I'm going to go straight across and we're going to go straight back up. And there we have a nice little pattern. And let's see how close it is. See, it's pretty close. My face is about the size of that mask. So I got this pretty material. We're going to use two different types of material. So, the easiest way is to lay it out. Well, actually, let's leave it on a fold. Okay, so we know this is the fold. So we lay that right on there and we're going to cut right around that material. We want to leave some extra on this end because we're going to make a seam. So we want it to be a little bit bigger. Hi, huh, Thor. Hi, huh, Thor, Thor. Okay, that's one side. Now we want to take our white material, do the same thing, fold it. Lay that on the fold, so you're cutting out two at the same time. Just probably make sure my material is straight. So this is our second one. I'm going to cut a little bit past the pattern, about an inch. Thor, my helper. He's decided to come join me in the kitchen today. So in order to make a mask, this is your outside. This is going to be the inside. Let's see, I didn't cut that very straight, did I? Make sure your cuts are straight. And so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it down like this and you're going to sew along this side then you're going to fold it up like this and you're going to sew along this side and that makes your top and your bottom of your mask okay then what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to fold the ends. I'll get out my machine and sew this together and show you, but you can do it by hand, which is what we've been learning, right? And so then you're just gonna take this and 
fold it and you're gonna sew right along this edge so that leaves you a tube to put your string through. And you do that on each end. You make your little tube, then you can put your string right through there. And once it's all sewed together, voila, you have a beautiful mask to wear, right? If you want to add one, another piece so that you have a filter in there, then what I do is I cut a piece that is, you know, about an inch smaller on each side. And then what I will do is I take this piece of material first and I center my piece for the filter in there and then what you will do is you will sew right here and you will sew right here and that leaves the ends open therefore this say this is one of them so this end would be open and therefore you could slide your filter right in and out okay so get to sewing I hope you guys remember how to thread a needle and thread. Remember, make sure you have a good knot on it. Make sure that you sew all your seams. And then at the end, you can just put some string right in here. Um, another thing you can do before you sew this part up here is cut a piece of a uh, um, pipe cleaner and put about that much in there. And then you sew it right here and right here so that it holds that piece in place when you put it over like this. And that'll make it a metal piece that will bend and shape to your nose. So that's just a few pointers on how to make a mask. I will sew one together and I'll show you how it looks afterwards. So you guys have fun. Until next time, Thor and I say bye. Say bye, Thor. Say bye, Thor. Well, hello again, guys. I decided I am gonna show you how to sew a mask by hand. So I have the two pieces that I showed you how to cut out. I also have a third piece that I'm gonna use for the inside to hold the filter. So if you guys wanna get your thread, your needle, some straight pins, your fabric, some good sewing scissors, you know, for cutting material, you want sharp scissors for that. Um, Meet me back here in just a minute and I'll show you how to do this, okay? Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take the white part that's the inside of my mask and I'm gonna lay it down. And I went ahead and got some pretty pink material. And what I want is a piece that is gonna be smaller than this by a couple inches. And so I'm just gonna make a little mark here. So I'm going to cut this one about there. So I'm going to cut out this piece of material. Make sure my end's straight. And this is actually... Unfold. So I am going to cut it right on the fold. Now, as you can see, this piece is a little smaller than that one, and that's what we want. This is going to be our little pocket for the filter to slide into. So go ahead and get your needle we have our thread I actually already have some thread on here I'm gonna start with a bigger piece So if you do a double stitch, remember, where you use double amount of thread, then it'll make it a stronger stitch and less likely to fall apart on you. Okay. So remember, the thread goes through the little hole in the end of the needle. You pull it through. You pull it both to the end, so you get both ends of your string. And you 
make a knot in those by making a loop and ticking, tucking your tail through the loop, pull it tight, and then you can do it one more time. Do the same thing. And it makes a nice size knot. But it won't come out. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew right along the edge of this on the top and on the bottom. Making sure that your stitches are straight. You go halfway back between the first stitch and the second one and come out just a little bit past that. And you go back halfway so that you're meeting that first stitch. And this actually makes it a lot stronger for you and less likely to come off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim that little tail off of the knot so it's not in the way. Ah, get it? So it's not in my way. And we're just going to keep on sewing. We go back to the end of the first stitch and right past where we just went in. Pull it tight. And this makes a pretty secure stitch. Secure meaning it should not come apart. Because you are actually sewing a complete line without any gaps in between when you do it this way, see? It's somewhat of a straight line. I'm trying to show you guys how to do this, so it's a little hard for me to keep exactly straight. I'm just trying to give you the general idea of what we're doing here and how easy it is to make your own mask. All it takes is a little bit of thread, a little bit of material, and a little bit of imagination, right? Because you can make yours look however you want it to look. So I'm just going to sew along this edge. I'm going to sew along this edge, and then I'm going to not sew this part or this part, but I'm going to sew along this edge. So it is just the top and the bottom that have the stitch on. So you guys sew yours, I'll sew mine, and we'll meet back here to continue. All right guys, as you can see, I've sewn up this side and I've sewn up this side. I'm getting ready to do my knot. Now remember how I told you in class how to do that knot. You take it through, <clears throat> take it through the material, and then you take it up through the center of that thread, right? You pull that tight. And then we do that one more time, the opposite direction. So we go through that and see our little loop. We go under the loop, through the loop, and pull that tight. And that is knotted right there. And that took me 15 minutes because that's my buzzer that my lunch is ready. So this part, 15 minutes. So this makes a nice little pocket so that you can put a filter in there to keep you even that much safer. Um, the filters can be changed if you leave it open like that. Since we're just making this for ourselves, I'm not worried about putting little hems in everything. If I was doing this on the machine, I would be putting little hems and cleaning it up. But <coughs> the only thing I'll do is go and cut all these little strings off of there. All these little pink strings. And uh, I'm going to get my lunch out of the oven. Um, we'll begin the next part in just a minute, so come back and see me again. Okay, got my lunch out of the oven. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, you're going to take this and fold it in half. And I'm going to use a pin to mark where the center is. So, yeah, it would help if I'd... So you take that and you just put a pin right there in the center. That way we know where the center is. And we want to do the same on this one. So that one actually has a nice crease. But I'm still going to mark it with a straight pin. 
Okay, so in this part, we're gonna wanna just sew a little bit So we want this to be able to go over a nose. So we're gonna guess it to be about, about five inches, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five inches there. So I'm gonna take my old scissors, not my sewing scissors, and I'm just gonna cut that, our five inches. And then we're gonna turn this over, and that is the center So what we want to do, grab a hold of this one end, and we are just going to do some quick little stitches around this pipe cleaner. To hold it in place. So at the end, I'm going to put an X design that's going to help hold it in place better. And you're just simply doing a little loop stitch around it. Go under one side, come out the other, right around that. And that is actually sewing that piece in place. So that you have something you can shape around your nose especially if you wear glasses that's really important because if you don't have that piece to pinch around your nose then your glasses will steam up constantly from you breathing in a mask so as you can see I'm doing this all by hand just to show you that you can do it by hand too So these stitches don't have to be very close together. You just kind of want to hold it in there because we're going to put it in another stitch anyway. So this piece is going to attach to this piece. So this will be double sewn. Doesn't have to take too long. You just want that sewn in there. This is what I would call a basting stitch. Basting stitch is a quick stitch you do to hold something in the place that you want it. But it's not necessarily going to hold everything together. It's just a quick little stitch. And remember what I said about your knot. You go up through the fabric one way. Get a knot. And that's one way to get a knot, huh? Not exactly the way I planned. But okay, so then you find the center of the hole. going on there. Okay, so when all else fails, I'm just going to take the two pieces and tie them in a knot. Because I'm pretty much done right here anyway. And even I have problems with thread sometimes, so it happens to everybody. You just do the best you can, right? And it gets better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off of there. And now we have our noise, nose piece sewn in, okay? So that's gonna be hidden. We want this part to show this is our outside. So we're gonna take 
and we are going to put that right in the center of our other piece. So I'm going to use some straight pins here. So we're going to fold this over and I am going to use straight pins to help hold it in place. So if you put them the opposite way that you're sewing, then they are easier to pull out while you are sewing. And you won't poke yourself with them either. So we just fold this over, use a few pins to pin it in place. And that'll just help hold everything in the place that you want it while you're sewing anyway. Okay. I know we're still learning about a lot of this stuff, but hopefully I've gotten you good enough to where you can do something like this rather easily. Then we're going to fold the bottom and we're going to pin it as well. Doesn't have to be too many pins, you just want enough pins to hold it in place of how you want to sew it. All right, guys, so I have sewn this side and that leaves this side to sew. So uh, I'm using black thread now so that the seams don't show on this side. So as you can tell, we are almost done, okay? It's taken us about 20 minutes so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this side, you sew yours, and we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish it up. All right, so we sewed up both sides here, and something I wanted to show you, I went ahead and folded this one over and sewed it, but as usual, I cut this a little too long, so I just took my scissors and I cut a little bit out. So that, that way, when you do your seam here, you still have room to get to that pocket, okay? So, the last part we have to do, I'm gonna go ahead and use some pins here. I'm gonna pin it on this side, and I'm gonna pin it on this side. And so I've got my needle and thread. I measured, these are the sizes that you wanna cut if you're doing a mask. This inside piece should really be about three fourths the size of the outside piece, okay? So, we're just going to go ahead and put our stitches in here. This really doesn't take that long. We have spent about a half an hour so far. Maybe about, well, I'd say probably about 40 minutes. So, in about an hour's time, you can make your own mask and you can sew it completely by hand. If you take your time on it, it will be very, very sturdy. It should not come apart. Let me just go ahead and do our little seam right here. Taking my time to try to make sure that it's pretty straight. Remember, you want your stitches pretty close together. So that it doesn't just come apart. A lot of you have already made pillows in my class, so this should be really easy for you. This is a lot easier than a pillow. It's just a few more seams involved that's okay. I'm showing you that this can totally be done by hand. As long as you can make a straight line with your needle and thread, you are good to go. Take that pin out. And as you can see, we are already to the end. I already did this side. I'm just showing you how to finish up the opposite side. Don't forget.
forget about your knots. Go through one way and take it underneath that and go through a second time. Go through that little hole right there and that makes a really nice tight knot for you. Okay, and there we have that part. Now let me get the handles and I will, or the ties, and I'll show you how to finish that up. So to finish up your mask, you can either use some elastic if you're lucky enough to find some elastic. If you're gonna put elastic on each side, I would measure it to at least 11 inches. So you would cut the 11 inches, okay? And it would be about that length. I bought some um, bias tape because the elastic is bothering a lot of people's ears. And so this is something that usually would go like this to finish up a seam. You would sew that and make it look pretty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out how far would I need to be able to tie. So let's measure that. Let's go 20 inches. So, oh my scissors. So I measured that at 20 inches. I'm gonna cut that. And because this is double, I'm going to open that up and I'm gonna cut right along that seam. And that makes two of them instead of just one because you don't need that double thickness when you're using it for what we're using it for. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can sew these into the end or I'm gonna show you another method So you can take a safety pin clip it on the end and you're just going to put that right through until it comes out the other side. side. You see how easy that was? And we take our other piece, put the safety pin through it, put it in the other side, and you can feel the safety pin so you can just kind of push it right through. Makes it so much easier. Remove your safety pin and there we have it a mask that can be tied on. Now the bags that you've been getting each week, the blue bags, um, you can cut a square and that's actually the right material to put a filter in there. So you just cut up a bunch of little squares that'll fit in here and it'll give you just that extra bit of protection. So just to show you real quick, remember we have the nose piece there. So this can be bent around the nose and then you bring it back here and it gets tied. This is the perfect length for a child size. For an adult size, so let's say your um, tie piece is at least 24 inches if you're not gonna cut it. And an adult, let's say 30 inches. That gives you plenty of extra to be able to tie it with, okay? So, that's it. That's instructions on how to make your own mask, how to make masks for friends. Um, when we get to open places back up, we're probably all gonna have to wear a mask, so why not make your own? You can use any material you want, like I said. Have fun with it. 
show me pictures. I want to see what you did. Um, remember, these are the sizes. So if you're making an adult size, you want to cut your material nine inches by five inches, and you want your strings at least 30 inches long. Um, if you're using elastic, I have been measuring 10 inches of elastic for adults. For kids, it's probably more like eight inches of elastic. Um, for a child size, you cut it seven inches by four inches, and your ties will be about 24 inches long. So, if you make a mask, I want to see a picture of it. Upload it here on our Facebook page. Love ya.